Hey, what's up guys, Boba Rail here, and today the devs for the World War I series of games released their second development blog with new details on Isanzo. So, a quick disclaimer about this, there's only a small bit of upcoming content talked about in this article, and that's the Carcano Cavalry Carbine, which was left as a guessing game at the end of the post, but its signature underbarrel made it a pretty quick and easy guess. Everything else in this video is simply talking in greater detail about some things we already know about, as well as me showing off some new screenshots and talking a little bit about them. So here are some of those screenshots, and I actually believe this is just a different angle from a trench we saw in the last post, but the caption that came with this one dove into the importance of the small details, and in particular the terrain and the rocks. The landscape of this region of Italy is incredibly unique, and I touched on this a little bit in the last video as well, but these rocks that line the mountainsides of San Miguel Kill played a significant role in the actual battle due to their tendency to fragment in artillery barrages as well as their impairment to soldier movement. When you're talking about something that was so integral to the way that the real battle played out, if you're aiming for authenticity from a development standpoint, you really need to look at how these rocks will both affect the gameplay and the atmosphere of the game. So long story short, the rocks and terrain of Isanzo have incredibly detailed and authentic modeling to really immerse the player, and I'm sure this extra effort is apparent in these screenshots. The same effort was also applied in the more urban areas of the map as well, and in particular the town of San Martino del Carso. When building an environment, it's important to acknowledge the particular architectural elements as well as how they would react in a battlefield. And to quote the post directly, These rustic towns are very distinctive and needed to be represented with accurate details, especially the irregular way construction materials are typically used in rural Italy, with a mixture of brick, stone, concrete, and plaster. So as you can see with these images, it's like these buildings are being realistically peeled away and you can identify each individual building material of the town. And this is where the utilization of next-gen hardware really comes into play. You need that extra strength to perfectly capture these complicated shapes and what I would assume to be photo-projected textures, not to mention the gorgeous lighting that comes from the sunny Mediterranean climate. Now, to really hammer home this point of authenticity, they said that they used lots of first-hand accounts when designing these maps, and they even provided some images taken during the time of the war. The caption under this one reads, Rocks everywhere, with some foliage visible. Hard to determine the amount and types without color. And although they did use some images and references from the modern day, it's important to note that the terrain back then looked significantly different from the land that's there today, because a large portion of this area is now wooded. And this really got me thinking, and reminded me of how in the last few months I've seen several posts across the community about these black and white videos of the war being colorized. So I threw these black and white images into a free software that converts them into colored images and compared them to the game's screenshots. The results were honestly breathtaking. These developers have managed to create a perfect time capsule down to the individual stones in a building, and after seeing this post, it has me incredibly excited to play this game for its attention to detail. Finally, they close out this post with a short poem by Italian poet Giuseppe Ungaretti, San Martino del Corso. Of these houses, nothing but fragments of memory. Of all who would walk with me not, one remains. But in my heart, no one's cross is missing. My heart is the most tormented country of all. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. This has been Boba Rail, and I'll catch you all in the next one.